Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Today is Wednesday, the 18th of December. It is very, very early, and it is very, very cold. My name is Fidiot, and I am a huge fan of this lady. Femke Halsema, the mayor of Amsterdam, and in my humble opinion, um, the greatest mayor that ever lived anywhere of all time. Today I'm going to be reviewing a mini-series, and this is going to be a spoiler review. Um, uh, but before, I, I'm going to do it in English, but before I do all that, uh, I'm going to need to set it up a little bit. Because we need to talk a little bit about 9-11. The terrorist uh, attacks uh, on New York, the World Trade Center, on Washington, the Pentagon, and then that fourth plane. Um, that was probably heading to the White House or the US Congress or the offices of the CIA. We, we simply don't know. Uh, but luckily that plane uh, fell out of the sky, still killing all its passengers. When this happened, I was at the office and somebody, uh, a colleague said, um, yeah, a plane just hit the World Trade Center. Doesn't your wife work there? And it was true. We have a World Trade Center in, uh, in Amsterdam as well. It's called exactly uh, the same, WTC. So I immediately called my wife and said, did a plane <laughs> just hit your building? She said, no, you idiot. A plane hit the American World Trade Center. Oh, okay. Uh, we had a television uh, in the office. Back in those days, the internet simply wasn't what it is today. So there was no option to start viewing this uh, live streaming wise uh, on the internet. So yeah, me and my colleagues <coughs> sitting around the television watching CNN, literally with our mouths uh, open. And right there, right then, uh, uh, as it was unfolding, as the towers came crashing down, I immediately predicted this is the dumbest thing ever because the United States, with some of its, its allies, is going to get revenge. Uh, and boy, did they. Um, right after 9-11, George W. Bush Jr. or George W. Bush II uh, declared the global war on terror. And what it says here is, this is how many people have since died. This number is a low end estimate. Uh, basically, we have seen war uh, for 18 long years now with huge amounts of, uh, of death and, and destruction. Um, this is Business Insider. This is from uh, last year, 2018. So these, these numbers have gone up, obviously. Uh, and when you scroll through it here, um, they use a report from the Brown University's Cost of War project. I suggest you click on it if you want some really gruesome details. This, this is scary enough as it is. 76 countries. The United States is fighting terrorism in 76 countries around the world. I seriously doubt all those countries were involved in uh, the terrorist attacks on 11 September 2001. But yeah, when you scroll through this, it... Um, becomes progressively worse. It's broken down into military deaths per country, contractor deaths per country, national military and police deaths. So these are policemen and militaries in the countries where the US is fighting. So these would be allies from the United States. 
And as you can see, these, these numbers are staggering. And then allied troops. So these are uh, far, far lower because not that many countries are actually uh, participating in this global war on terror, at least not anymore. And then we get to civilian deaths. And these are low end estimates. The numbers are way, way, way higher uh, than this. And as you can see, uh, Syria, uh, which, which is just a torture chamber of sheer hell, uh, isn't even involved in this. It just gets worse and worse and worse. Yeah, so this is without Syria. So you, you, you can add numbers to that. <clears throat> and they are not including, um, um, let's say, uh, Eastern Africa and the Horn of Africa, uh, where the United States is also uh, um, fighting the global war on terror. So the, the, the human cost uh, on the 11th of September was just horrendous. I think some 3,000 people died in a single day. But what happened afterwards is just staggering. When you look at the costs, you know, how much did all this cost? Because the United States, in a sense, used September 11 to go completely insane on military spending. Well, here you go. The CBO estimated that of the 2.4 trillion trillion long-term price tag for the war, about 1.9 trillion would be spent on Iraq. It's uh, it's it's not good. 2.4 trillion has been spent since this. Yeah, I just I just figured let's keep that in the back of our heads. Today I'm going to be doing a spoiler review of a wonderful uh, mini series that came out in uh, 2018, and it was a TV mini series that was developed by Hulu, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's uh, I remember watching a couple of episodes when it came out, but then for some reason I couldn't find uh, any new episode. But I've now found the entire season. Uh, so I've finally been able to watch it uh, all the way to the end and it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, one of the reasons why it's so fantastic is because of who created it. Alex Gibney uh, is a fantastic documentarian um, and Lawrence Wright is, I guess he's a historian as well as a documentary maker. Uh, Alex Gibney did a couple of absolutely fantastic documentaries. Google him and you'll find out which ones. Lawrence Wright um, did a fantastic documentary on Scientology. He um, became fascinated with religion in the broadest uh, sense of the word. So he um, didn't just investigate and write very critically about militant and radical Islam. He started to write about more radical belief systems, including Scientology. Um, great actors, absolutely fantastic actors, fantastic dialogue. Um, they were able to film in, in all the countries where the investigation takes place. And it's just, it just keeps getting better and better and better. What is the story about? <coughs> well, the, this is the looming tower takes place before 9-11. Uh, 10 episodes that detail um, the investigation and the hunt for Al-Qaeda. And we essentially follow two separate investigations. One that is being conducted by the CIA, a special unit called Alex Station. And then one which is run by the FBI, a special unit called I-49. 
Uh, and as we now know, the FBI and the CIA didn't particularly like each other. There was a lot of uh, professional competition and professional mistrust between these two services. Um, and the individuals inside these units uh, didn't particularly like each other. So the CIA investigators and the FBI investigators uh, openly argued with each other, openly hated each other's guts. And as we can, uh, as we now know, uh, that that didn't do the investigation, uh, that, that didn't benefit this investigation at all, uh, because we now know that 9-11 could have uh, rather easily been prevented. Um, the senior leadership in the United States, the people responsible for spending all this money and fighting wars in 76 countries, I didn't particularly listen anyway. So even if the FBI had done their work brilliantly, and even if the CIA had done their work brilliantly, then still it wouldn't have made a difference. Because the senior leadership, the executive branch of the government, were preoccupied with other things. They simply didn't care about terrorism right up to this day. Uh, starting on this day, the United States became completely obsessed with terrorism, the, the senior leadership of the United States, uh, uh, resulting in this and this. Um, it's, it's a strange uh, experience to watch all this again, because I, I didn't know all that much about the lead up um, to the September 11 et attacks. Um, Al Qaeda, I'd never heard of them. Osama bin Laden, oh, no clue. Uh, but these people knew, sort of, and these people were on the hunt. Uh, but doing so in a very flawed manner. Uh, it's uh, 50 minutes to an hour per episode. So it's, uh, yeah, this is something to binge watch. And that's exactly what, uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to, let's say this weekend or something, or m maybe tomorrow even because my daughter is gone all day in the evening on some skating trip. So I'm going to try to binge watch this all in one go, uh, because it's just way, way, way better than anything else I've seen regarding the hunt for Al-Qaeda. I've seen numerous documentaries. I've read two books about it, but this is just much more interesting. Um, I highly recommend uh, this television series. Uh, I, 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 I don't think it got the attention it deserves. Uh, I remember finding a couple of episodes online, like I said, watching them, just sitting there mesmerized by the whole thing. Uh, but then, <clears throat> poof, it was gone. I couldn't find any more episodes. Um, I'm unsure if it won any prizes. Maybe we can say, oh, here, look. They've been nominated for four primetime Emmys and nine other nominations. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, some of the people in here um, are real people. So John O'Neill is the real name of the FBI uh, investigator. He died. In, uh, in the towers, he got fired from the FBI and he became uh, the head of security of the World Trade Center. And he was in the tower uh, when they died. Ali Soufan works for the FBI um, and objected uh, to all the torture that was being done by the CIA. He got fired and actually went to jail. And it just goes on and on. Um, Martin Schmidt, they changed his name. His real name was Michael Scheuer. He, he was also fired from the CIA and wrote a very angry book. But yeah, George Tenet, that's real, etc., etc. Um, I think this is one of the best television shows that I have ever seen. 
I think everybody should watch it. Can you watch this with children? Yeah, I think it uh, it can be a very educational experience for them. I mean, it's a bit slowish. There's not a whole lot of action in it. It's mostly dialogue driven. And it's a bit of a bureaucratic thriller. Um, uh, great, like I said, great dialogue, great writing, great production value, great musical score. I cannot say enough positive things about this. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, if uh, our mayor is bored at some point somewhere, and then I highly recommend this for her as well. I think she would like it. I think she would really, really enjoy this show. Um, it's slow paced, great acting in there. Uh, it's based on a fantastic book. So if you don't like watching television, you can buy the book and read the book. Um, in my humble opinion, this is the best that has been produced uh, regarding the war on terror, the prelude uh, to the war on terror. Um, and it very, very clearly shows that um, the lack of cooperation uh, between FBI and CIA uh, and the inability of senior leadership to listen to what, they, what, the, what the FBI and CIA are saying really contributed to this. I'm not saying it's their fault, obviously. Uh, it was a terrorist attack and terrorists are crazy people. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, I wouldn't call it incompetence, but they're bureaucratic infighting um, and senior leadership not taking it seriously. Um, it could have all gone very, very differently. And the amount of human suffering and the amount of money spent, uh, in my humble opinion, could have been avoided uh, had this all turned out a little bit better. Uh, now, I've already said where I was on 11 September 2001. Where was our mayor then? Well, I'm guessing she was in The Hague because she was a parliamentarian then. But I'd, I'd be curious to find out where she was and what her initial reaction was. I'm going to find if I'm going to see if I can find that out somewhere online. Ladies and gentlemen, the looming tower. This is much must watch. I highly recommend this. Thank you for your time. Until next time.